Greetings and welcome in this video lecture. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about the application of static friction and we will try to solve a numerical based on this concept. I am Rahul Verma, working as assistant professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering at ABS Engineering College, Ghaziabad. Let's come to the topic. So what is friction? Friction is a force, all, we all know, which opposes either tendency of relative motion or relative motion. When it opposes tendency of relative motion, then comes the existence of static friction. Let us understand this concept by the help of a graph. If you draw the friction force with respect to applied force, then the graph which we normally see is something like this. The horizontal axis represents the applied force and the vertical axis represents the friction force. Now, if we divide this whole graph into two domains, one left of this vertical line and the other right on the, this vertical line. Left of this vertical line, the friction force opposes tendency of motion and the object is in a state of rest. Okay. So here what will happen, the force of friction will always be equal to the net applied force on the object. And if you understand this concept as y equals to x, then the slope of this graph in the initial domain will be 1 and therefore theta will be 45 degree. Some of us are not aware about it and may confuse that this may be some other angle. No, it is always 45 degree because applied force and friction force are equal in this domain. The maximum static force will be at this point which is called limiting friction and this value will be F equals to F limiting equals to mu multiplied by normal reaction where mu is the coefficient of friction between uh, limiting uh, limiting friction between the two surfaces in contact and n is the normal reaction now beyond this is the case of uh, the relative motion has started and therefore there will be slight depression in the uh, in the friction friction but uh, because i am limiting our uh, discussion to static friction let's come to the problem directly now so a block of mass 10 kg rests on a horizontal floor the acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meter per second square and the coefficient of static friction between the floor and the block is 0 0.2 now a horizontal force of 10 newton is applied on the block the question wants you to find the friction force. Before we proceed into this problem, let us draw the free body diagram of the object. So this box represents uh, the block of mass. This is the applied force of 10 Newton. This is the weight of the object, which is acting at the center of mass. And now let us come to the contact force. The horizontal component of the contact force is called friction and the vertical contact uh, vertical component of the contact force is called normal reaction. Okay. The maximum friction force which can develop under static condition is given by the formula F equals to mu n is given by the formula F equals to mu n. So what is the value of mu? And what is the value of n, right? Let us first uh, find the value of n. If you write summation Fy, because there is no motion or acceleration in the upward direct vertical direction, we can easily say taking upward direction as positive, okay? Taking upward direction as positive. So if you see the FBT, what can I write? n minus weight of the object equals to 0. So n will be equal to the weight of the object. We know the value of mu. The value of mu in this problem is 0 0.2 and the mass of the object is 10 kg. So putting these two values over here, 
zero point two, and because we have to find weight, it will be ten multiplied by g. Let us put these values together and multiply. So zero point two multiplied by ten multiplied by nine point eight one. This value will be equal to how much? Nineteen point six two. Newton. As you can see that the friction force is more than the applied force. This is not possible, okay? Because otherwise friction can cause motion, which is not possible. Friction is a self-adjusting force. It does not come of its own. It comes only when required and it comes into existence as much required. So in our problem, the friction force will be equal to how much? Friction force will be equal to applied force, which is equal to 10 Newton. Why is that so? Because friction force, limiting friction here is greater than the applied force, net applied force. Because limiting friction is greater than the applied force, this is not possible. So friction force will be equal to applied force. Is that okay? I hope you have understood this. The book which I am referring to solve this problem is uh, this. This is one of the best book. I think you should study this. Thank you very much. Thank you.